what is going on guys Voxry here in today's video i'll show you how to completely transform your roblox graphics if you like what you see right now then this video is for you if not then click off now so first you want to open up your favorite browser you want to search up block strap if you already know what this is and you have it downloaded you can just okay Okay, we are back. The first link does not work, so you want to download it from GitHub. So you want to click on the link. You want to go to Blockstrap 2.7. And once you scroll down, there should be a download button for the Blockstrap 2.7 exe. I already have it, so I'll skip ahead and show you what to do next. As you may know, Roblox doesn't normally look like this. So what you want to do is open up Blockstrap. And the first thing you want to do that completely changes your graphics and pretty much the only thing you really need to do is go to fast flags. You want to scroll down preferred lighting technology. Usually it's on chosen by game, but you want to change it to future phase three. So this is the newest Roblox lighting used by the newest Roblox car games out there. Some games are even switching over to it. It pretty much makes the shadows better, the lighting better. Everything just looks better, especially at nighttime, as you've seen in the starter clips. Before, at one point, I think Greenville used Shadow Map Phase 2. They might still be on Shadow Map Phase 2. Um, it improved lag and whatnot, but the game didn't look much different. But future lighting changes a lot. I don't know if I'm pulling that much FPS, but we can actually check by pressing Shift F5. And yeah, we're actually pulling that much FPS, so... You can also change the anti-aliasing, so this fixes jagged edges and all that. So you can change that to four times. Usually it's on automatic, I'm pretty sure, but I changed that. You can disable player shadows if you want more performance. You can disable post-processing post effects. Um, this is like sun glare and whatnot. Another thing that I really enjoy about this is that you can change how the menu looks and you can also change the icon when it loads up Roblox. I also use the old depth sound just so you get that old Roblox depth sound which I really like. And you can also change the mouse cursor um, to the old style Roblox because I did start playing in 2013 so emulate old character sounds. so. You know, getting hit or damage or something might use old sounds. I don't really use that. After you're done with all of this, you can go ahead and press save, restart your game, and it should look like this, how mine is. This is time 20 in Greenville, um, which is 2 in the morning. As you can see, the shadows and such just pop a lot more compared to before. It looks really, really good. Um... Highly recommend doing this because your game will look completely different and you won't really lose much performance from my testing at least, so highly recommend.